This video is for anyone who's ever made a New Year's resolution and broken it. I can never keep a resolution longer than a week. But for this video, I am going to try and keep a resolution for a whole month by using some surprising psychology. Inside Science. Now, we generally think that the more motivated we are to keep a resolution, then the less likely we are to break it. But that's not actually true. The science says that the resolutions that actually work are the ones which turn themselves into habits. So, I thought I'd put this to the test. Now, I hate getting up in the morning. So, I decided to get up early and meditate for five minutes every morning before I started my day. It's really early in the morning. I feel like I need a cushion or something. Stay five. I, I don't think it's uh, I don't think it's formed a habit yet. So I, I kind of thought I was getting the hang of this, but getting up this morning was just incredibly difficult. I'm almost two weeks in. It actually feels like it's gotten harder. Clocks went back today. That's going to make this so much easier. I'm about halfway through. Uh, actually, it's, it's getting easier. Now, to understand why this method works, we'll have to understand habits. So, what really are habits? Well, they're actions that are automatically triggered by a certain context. If we perform the same simple action in the same set environment, we can train ourselves into habits. And the thing about habits is, they persist even after our initial motivation dissolves. Forming habits is about mentally programming sequences of actions into our brains. And this is done in a region found under the folds of the cerebral cortex, in a subcortical space called the basal ganglia. When we're starting a new habit, many basal ganglia neurons fire during the more complex parts of the action. But as the habit forms, the activity actually decreases during the more complex sections because our neurons become more efficient at coding for the behavior. And meanwhile, more neurons are firing at the beginning and at the end of the action sequence. And with a fully formed habit, the basal ganglia aren't coding for the action sequence at all. Instead, they're acting more like a trigger, setting off a habit when we enter a certain context. As the action becomes automatic, you stop needing motivation to do it. It's, it's like I have to get up and meditate now. This is turning into a habit, for sure. Uh, I'm not even really thinking about it, it's just something else I, I have to do, is like brushing my teeth. But to begin building your new New Year's resolutions, motivation will help. So give yourself some rewards at the start. I mean, they could be personal, social, edible. The brain signals reward with dopamine, and decreasing dopamine makes making habits harder. So, don't make your life tougher than it really needs to be. And don't forget, missing a day doesn't significantly stall habit formation. Don't give up at your first slip up. I was in the room where I normally do it, just here, uh, and I felt like something was wrong. I had forgotten to do something, and I suddenly realized that I hadn't meditated. So, I felt like I had to do it, and I just did it, and uh, yeah, that is raw habit forming. And finally, the more complicated the habit, the longer it takes to form. So go easy on yourself. For Inside Science TV, I'm Ali Jennings. Thanks for watching, and have a great new year. Inside Science. If you enjoyed this edition, follow us on the web and social media powered by the American Institute of Physics and a coalition of underwriters.